I'm Jolene Mejia reporting for Kids First, and today I will be reviewing Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is Marvel's first Asian solo superhero movie, and it does not disappoint. The dynamic relationships between the characters, combined with the incredible actors, create a powerful, heart-wrenching movie about the value of family. In addition, the humorous segments contrast with the intense scenes to make this film so well-rounded. The story begins with Shang-Chi, played by Simon Liu, living a normal life in San Francisco working as a valley driver with his best friend. Then he is attacked on a bus and forced to confront his past. He explains to his best friend that his father, Wen Wu, played by Tony Chu Wai Lung, is the feared immortal man who leads the Ten Rings organization. The Ten Rings are a weapon so powerful that Wenwu was able to conquer all the land and riches that he wanted. Shang-Chi ran away from home at a young age because he didn't want to be another one of Wenwu's murderous pawns. Now, Wenwu is looking for him and his sister to bring them back home. Simon Liu plays Shang-Chi's dual personality exceptionally well. Towards the end of the film, Shang-Chi exudes a completely different persona than the one we saw at the beginning of the film. Another prominent actor that I enjoyed is Aquafina, who plays Katie. Katie adds so many hilarious moments that make the film so much more enjoyable. Of course, she's also extremely talented at acting and portrays Katie as a loyal and courageous friend. Ben Kingsley as Trevor Slattery also adds comedy. Aquafina, Ben Kingsley, and Morris, who is an adorable, faceless, fluffball beast, make an incredible comedy trio. CGI is a major component of this film and has the potential to make or break the entire experience. The CGI does not disappoint. In fact, this has to be some of the best CGI that I've seen in the entire MCU franchise. MCU has killer CGI every single time, so this is a bold statement. Not only are there numerous magical beasts that come to life, but the water itself seems to come alive as well. The Ten Rings also seem to have a mind of their own, speeding off one moment and lightly dancing in the next. It is also incredible to discover how these rings can be used for more than just fighting. The costumes are absolutely gorgeous and just like the creatures, so unique. Within the village, the warrior's armor is made out of dragon scales, which defends them from their ancient nemesis. In the city, people rock with a cyberpunk style and in San Francisco, the attire is authentic to the 21st century. My favorite part is the ending. I was incredible, incredibly pleased with how everything ends. I don't want to give away any spoilers, so you're just going to have to see it for yourself. The message of this film is centered around the power of familial love and the power of finally opening up your heart. The value of family is displayed through the challenges that the characters go through. Their relationships are what keep them strong. The power in opening up your heart is experienced through Shang-Chi. The only thing holding Shang-Chi back from reaching his true potential is the hate and guilt he held deep within his heart. Once he lets all of that go, he is free. I give Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 10 to 18 plus adults. The film releases in theaters September 3rd, 2021. I thoroughly enjoyed watching Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings and will most likely go back to watch it again. Go check it out. This is Jolene Mejia reporting for Kids First. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in my next review. Bye.